what are you doing back there? You have your receipt? Did you pay for flowers? Like a big boy? You're not what? I'm not driving. You're not driving? No, you're not that big of a boy. Where are we going? Good morning. It is Wednesday now, and we have had Grayson for the last few days. He is going to play with his Aunt Katie today because Joe and I happen to schedule doctor appointments on the same day um, in opposite directions. And I really didn't want to have him with me if I had to go back into like an x-ray room because I wasn't really sure like what I would do with him since I'm by myself. So yeah, he's over there with Katie. We've been having fun with him. Last night we took him to um, a playground near, like fairly near our house and we took him to um, dinner at Highway 55 and then we took him to the little pond out behind our house in the woods um, to look at the ducks. So we had a good old time and he's been enjoying watching movies with us and hanging out at the house and stuff like that. Um, but I think maybe like he was having a little bit of separation anxiety today and I think it's because you know he's been like carted around a lot. He came out here went on a long drive to get out here for Easter and then his parents left. But anyway, he will have fun once he gets over there. He's going to enjoy time with Katie and I'll pick him up later today after my appointment. Yeah, I've been super busy because of all the family stuff, but it's been good. When I talked about the land loan and I just said we weren't going to purchase the property right now, um, some of you are probably like wondering, what was that all about? Um, well, I have a little bit more time because I'm sitting in the car here. so. I will tell you kind of like the gist of it, but basically we were waiting for the appraisal to come back. We had turned in all of our paperwork and the um, land originally was valued at a different amount because the market had crashed. And so in order to get the loan, we had to get the appraisal like completed so that they could see that, you know, the property was worth what we were trying to pay for it. Otherwise it's not a good investment. For the bank so we were waiting on that process and it can be a lengthy process where we live because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere so um, it's harder to get people out to do appraisals so they were a little backed up and we extended our due diligence date as a result of that um, while that was happening we went to Colorado and we attended the Bible College like orientation or they call it Karis campus days um, but basically it was a bunch of speakers. It was like a conference and a bunch of speakers, um, that are going to be her instructors. And it just kind of blew me away. But Joe and I both like some of the things that we heard, the teachings were just so amazing. Um, if you are like a spirit, which we call spirit filled believer, um, you know what I'm talking about when you say that sometimes you can walk into a place and the presence of God is so strong in that place and you just feel like, I don't know, like I started crying and at first I thought I was crying because of like my baby, you know, this is what she's doing and you know, it's the last one like officially leaving for her like adult, you know, the next phase of her life, right? Which would be understandable. It was also like, I just felt like the presence of God was just so strong there that it was just making me emotional. And so as we sat there and we listened to the teachings and everything, both of us started feeling like a calling that um, in some way, shape or form, we're supposed to be involved in this ministry. So I can say that now um, because I have spent a week since we've been back um, praying about this and really just spending some time like getting with God and uh, fasting so that I could hear better what I was supposed to do. Sorry, the sun's really like strong there. I'll go that way. Okay. My arm was getting tired. <laughs> I feel like after praying for the last week about it, I definitely know that we're supposed to go through the Bible college. Um, there are lots of options for going through the Bible college. There is an online option for the first year in half a mile. 
That's my right GPS. To US um, which you can take up to like two years to do the first year of classes. And then there are options in a bunch of states. There are options in North Carolina where you can do your classes as like a hybrid where you do things on your own online. And then like once a month you go on a Saturday and you do in-person classes. So that is a possibility. Um, it's also a possibility that we are supposed to be actually out there in Colorado. So we're just kind of like praying right now about like timing and everything um, because we had some family announcements, um, which I hopefully will be able to share more about that in another week or so. But right now that's all I can say. Um, and I'm just like feeling like some of the things that are going on in our family, I don't want to be too far away. And I love my job where I'm at right now. Um, it has been difficult. It's been a difficult year, but that doesn't mean that I don't love my, my job, where I'm working and the people that I work with and the kids that I work with, um, and all the families that I serve. It's just been a rough year. So, um, I'm in a good, good placement right now. Like my bosses are very like good Christian people that care about Joe and I very much and care about the kids and they strike a good balance between, you know, best practices for teaching and for kids and, um, taking care of their staff, which is a gem to find. Um, that's not something that you can find just every day, anywhere that you go. So I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere, but the one thing that came out of this was that for sure, um, I am going to finish my principal licensure. And I had first had started like applying for the doctorate program and I just felt like for some reason it wasn't the timing. Like I started the application process and then I just felt like, no, this isn't the right timing for that. Um, it was like a gut feeling. So then I, you know, during that week that I just prayed about everything um, and I was just seeking direction for what, what to do next because this is a big life decision, right? Um, I felt like God said, no, I want you to go back again and talk to the advisors and try to come up with another solution that doesn't involve like, you know, going into further debt, which I don't want to do right now. I want to pay for just the few classes that I need out of pocket and get this finished up. Um, and if I do my doctorate later, then hopefully my other stuff will be paid down more at that point. That's, that's my hope. But I felt like strongly go back and talk to them. So I got on the phone with Liberty and I talked to some people and I got through this time to somebody who could actually help me. And they informed me that they do have an executive certificate, which allows you to get your license if you have the other courses that you need. And I only had three courses that I needed in order to do that, um, along with my internship. So what the big news right now is that, um, the main reason why we decided not to go through with the um, land loan right now is that we felt like God was asking us to do other things with our money right now. Um, and so I'm going to be using the funds that we would have used to help me get through these last several courses and get my principal licensure. And then once I have that, hopefully I'll be able to get some sort of a job at some point that will use it so that I can, you know, take any extra money that I would be making for that position and apply it to student loans. That's where we're at. That is the reason why we decided not to go through with the land loan. However, I do feel like at some point in time, we will most likely be um, getting a lot in that same development. I think that's where we're going to end up. It is a very good location for us. It is like an hour away from um, his other grandmother, Grayson's other grandmother, which we call her Numa. Um, that's Brock's mom. It's an hour away from there. And so it's very convenient to the family things. 
Brock and Kelsey have talked about maybe moving like closer to them. I don't know if that's going to happen or not because they did buy their house. So that might have changed their plan. But um, we'll see. We'll just see what happens. So yeah, I'm super excited. There's a lot of really good things going on in our family right now. Um, and I'm very excited. Like I really feel passionate about going through Karis Bible College. But still just kind of like waiting to hear about timing um, because like I said I'm not in any hurry to leave my position that I'm in right now I know that there might be an opportunity at some point for me to take a position you know in my current district due to retirements that are just gonna happen naturally over the years um, so I'm just sort of waiting to hear Joe has been also kind of seeking on it so I'm just waiting for him to hear you know what he's supposed to do and then we can put our our revelations together I guess I should say and try to see what that's gonna look like moving forward so I am planning on a hundred percent being at my same school next year at, right now um, in my same position and unless they tell me something different that they want me to do um, just waiting to get my contract for next year because I was on a two-year contract and it's due for renewal right now yeah, so. so that's waiting. what's going on um, next year is going to be a very exciting and busy year for us and I'll be so happy to have that um, principal licensure program finished finally and be able to turn everything in and get it on my license and start actually getting paid for my sixth year program as well because the way that it's set up, it's really weird. Like I'm having a hard time getting them to like put my sixth year on my license without having my principal part done. I, I don't really understand. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. But I applied for it once and um, it, it like there was some kind of form or something, but the way the form was worded, it made it sound like I had to have my principal internship done in order for them to fill it out. So. I could have been wrong. Maybe I would have sent it in. I would have figured out that that wasn't the case. I don't know. But Are you having fun? It means no worries for the rest of your day. It's a problem free philosophy. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? So now we're going to plant another flower in this pot for Lulu to keep. So we'll have a flower at your house and a flower at my house. Then we can both take care of them. And then you can call me on FaceTime and you can say, Lulu, look at my flower, it's getting so big. And I'll say, Grayson, look at my flower, it's getting so big too. Won't that be fun? I'm good.
You made a potato. A potato? 